from the Weather NorCal Command Center. This is your afternoon update. You want to go where to buy a new refrigerator? <coughs> Steve's A to Z Appliance in Cottonwood? <coughs> in Cottonwood? <coughs> Just a 10 minute drive. <coughs> and they'll save us money. <coughs> new and used, <coughs> honest, reliable, <coughs> factory trained repair service <coughs> and parts. <coughs> and they'll save us money. <coughs> and dispose of this thing? <coughs> we gotta make the short drive to Steve's A to Z. <coughs> Thanks, son. <coughs> Steve's A to Z Appliance, front and main streets in Cottonwood. Drive a little, save a lot. Hello everyone. Well, we are looking at those sunny skies out there for today for most of us, but that's all going to change here by tomorrow. Beautiful look earlier today out at Lake Oroville. You can see the clear skies that they have out there. Just absolutely gorgeous. Take you out to Trinity Center. Some of those clouds kind of lingering around, but uh, some of the low clouds, some fog kind of still socked into some of those uh, mountain valleys. But boy, look out at Lassen Park out at the uh, south entrance. Just another gorgeous look at the mountains. Of course, plenty of snow, not to mention those blue skies off in the distance. Now, here's the deal. We do have lower snow levels this weekend. This is something I've been talking about here the last several days. We have more travel delays and chain requirements most likely going into especially tomorrow morning. But then as we go through really Sunday, things will kind of start to change as far as drying things out. Uh, before we see the next round of rain move in here for next week. And speaking of next week, it will be cool and unsettled, and we're to keep those chances for showers in the forecast. Taking a look at the satellite image here, we've got an area of low pressure and some energy will kind of break off, and that cooler air is what's going to be pooling down, giving us the at least that cold air that we need for the lower snow levels. Now, here's the thing. and Even though the temperatures may moderate a little bit here, this colder air has moved in. And it's going to stick around for a while, and that's going to keep our snow levels fairly low. Now, when we look at future casts, you can see all of the blue on the map tomorrow. Of course, today is absolutely gorgeous out there, as mentioned. But there you can see by Saturday morning, we're seeing all the, all the snow here. Snow a little bit off to the east, but most of the activity is still off to the north and west. A fairly dry start to the day in the valley, but then we see some of the showers move in by the mid-morning hours. Rain will be basically light to moderate. We're not expecting really terribly heavy rainfall. There may be a brief period of some heavy rain around the Redding area tomorrow morning, but it's not going to last for very long. And you can see here, it's kind of interesting, Futurecast is picking up on this. Here's the Highway 299 corridor, and right within that valley, it's picking up on all rain and not much in the way of snow. So there probably won't be a lot of snow on Highway 299 west of Redding, but Buckhorn Summit, we can't rule out the potential, especially early in the morning, for some of that to be in the form of snow and maybe even a chain requirement. But it shouldn't be too bad on Highway 299, as I think most of the snow will be above that. Now, I've got snow levels down to 2,000 feet. Weaverville, Hayfork, you might see a rain-snow mix, but as far as accumulating snow, it doesn't look like we're going to see much. Not, on, not only that, it, things will really start to kind of taper off by the time we do get into the noon hour. I mean, the valley fairly dry by noon, and the main push of moisture is now, at this point, down to our south. So anything we pick up in the afternoon will be leftover showers, stray snow flurries, and not to mention maybe a few scattered showers for parts of the valley as well. We take in about 6 p.m. on Saturday again, a few flurries here and there for some of the higher elevations, but it will dry out for most of us by the time we do get into tomorrow night. Sunday is looking dry at this point, but there's that next system coming in on Monday. Now this one will mainly just clip Northern California on Monday, which we'll take a look at future cast here in a second. Let's take a look at your forecast rain totals, basically the estimates. It might be underdoing it a bit here for the valley, but really on average, a most likely about a tenth of an inch, uh, give or take, depending on where you are. So it's not a big rain producer, but it is a bit of a different story when we're talking snow. Since it's cold and less moisture, we tend to see bigger puffy flakes. And as a result, you tend to see more snow because you have those lighter snowflakes, right? So what's happening is, yeah, we're looking at one to two inches of snow for some of the mountain communities. But boy, you head up into the higher elevation, say four, five, 6,000 feet in particular, you start seeing closer to six inches and even over a foot of snow over some of those highest elevations. So yeah, we are looking at that and it looks like the ski park will be looking at decent snow coming out of this as well. 
Now, the winds are going to be a bit of a factor, especially if you are traveling. The main concern is going to be off to the east. So travel not only concerned with chain requirements, but also blowing snow, reducing that visibility. So we're going to have to watch for that here as we go into your uh, Saturday. By Sunday, though, those winds should die down, but also we're not going to see any more rain or snow on Sunday. All right, so this is what I was talking about on Monday. See how the system will approach? It just clips Northern California, though. So if the coast, Siskiyou, Modoc County, yeah, a chance for showers and snow levels still around 2,000 feet. But everywhere to the south of that, the eastern mountains, the valley, all looking at mainly dry conditions on Monday. But it looks like kind of one system after another coming in for basically all of next week. And these are still colder systems. See how the colder air is in place. This is all snow where just a few weeks ago it was all rain. So yes, the colder air has moved in. It's more like winter. And we're seeing those lower snow levels really through the end of next week. In fact, by the end of next week, it's looking like there's more a more impressive system coming through, heavier rainfall for the valley, and of course, more snow for the higher elevations. All right, beach hazard statement, that's the case here for today. It's something we've been talking about since yesterday. It's mainly going to be for those high waves, upwards of 20 feet, and that could create some problems here along the beaches. Let's take a look at your wave heights, of course, for today, but taking you into tomorrow as well, we're not going to see much change. In fact, it looks like they may increase a little bit as well. So looking at your forecast for today, mainly sunny skies. I think some of us could touch 60 degrees in the valley. Otherwise, we're looking at the 30s and 40s for the eastern mountains today. For the inland areas, Hoopa, Willow Creek, for example, low 50s. And we've got low to mid 50s here out along the coast. And for places like Mount Shasta City, about 45 degrees. All right, so here's your seven-day outlook. There's the rain and snow on Saturday. Then we dry out on Sunday. I've got that chance in there for Mount Shasta, El Turris, and maybe even the east parts of the eastern mountains on Monday. But I think better chances will move in on and off here for Tuesday through Thursday. Here's your seven-day outlook for the valley. Showers, nothing terribly heavy. will be fairly overcast, although maybe some clearing by the afternoon. Sunday and Monday are looking dry with more often on showers here for Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Here's your seven day outlook for the coast and we're looking at the rain and could be heavy at times, especially in the morning. Snow levels around 2000 feet. There you can see the dry conditions on Sunday, slight chance on Monday with more of that rain coming in off and on for Tuesday through Thursday of next week.